Omicron is stretching China's zero COVID policy to the limit. Officials are warning a mounting outbreak in the South has a high risk of spilling to other cities. And it's not just the mainland that's under siege. Cases in Hong Kong have nearly doubled in 24 hours, surging past 1,100. The city is imposing its toughest curbs from tomorrow to try to stem the tide. Business is brisk at these hair salons in Hong Kong. People are flocking to get a haircut ahead of a two-week shutdown. The government's announcement has already sparked a fresh wave of panic buying, adding to the misery a shortage of vegetables. Truck drivers infected with COVID-19 are unable to bring the produce in from mainland China, cutting supplies by a third and sending prices shooting up. Daily COVID infections in Hong Kong pale in comparison to many parts of the world. But a zero-tolerance approach means doubling down on restrictions to stop the spread. A move that's baffling some residents. Leader Carrie Lam has said the city cannot try to live with the virus because more than 50% of the elderly are not vaccinated. It also cannot abandon the policy if it still wants to reopen borders with China. But trouble is also brewing on the mainland. Authorities are scrambling to stop Omicron from spilling beyond a southern city in Guangxi, near the border with Vietnam. Bai Se has detected 180 cases since Saturday. All of the city's 3.6 million residents have been ordered to stay home. They are only allowed to step out for testing. Neighboring cities have also barred travel from the stricken town.